How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about smart shopping campaigns versus standard shopping campaigns. This is a very common question I get from people who are setting up a Google shopping ad for the very first time. They get hit with the setting that asks them, do they want us to set up a smart shopping campaign or a standard shopping campaign? Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking out the pros and cons of both of these. And we're gonna go actually into an account where I'll show you the different settings that you can do inside of a smart shopping campaign versus a standard shopping campaign. And be sure to stick around to the end because I will be giving my overall recommendation for which one might be best for your business inside of this video. Now, the first thing that you may be wondering if you aren't familiar with Google Shopping is what is a Google Shopping ad is. Real quick, just to cover that, a Google Shopping ad is when you Google something as most likely an e-commerce product, um, for instance, men's boots, and you see these little ads showing up right here. So that is basically what the, these Google Shopping ads look like. Now, as far as what a uh, what you may be, be wondering, a smart shopping campaign versus a standard shopping campaign, you may say you may be saying, Corbin, what the heck does that even mean? Um, let me show you real quick for that as well before we dive into the details of the video. If you're inside of a Google Ads account and you go to create a new um, campaign, we'll come over here to the campaign settings, sorry. We'll click a new campaign right here and uh, we hit sales because we're gonna be selling stuff on Google Shopping. You come hit, click continue and you want a shopping ad that shows these fancy little ads over here in the left-hand side. Um, you are going to want to click this option and you'll notice that once that loads up, you're gonna be hit with this option for a smart shopping campaign or a standard shopping campaign. And this can scare a lot of people because as you can see here, keep in mind that this this uh, the one that you select cannot be changed later. So whatever campaign you set up, if you don't like the smart shopping campaign or you don't like the standard shopping campaign, you'll have to create a whole nother campaign uh, just to sw switch this setting essentially. So I do wanna make sure that you are informed on which the, what the difference is. That's why you're here on this video and that's why I'm excited to be making this video for you. Now, just a high level overview of the Smart Shopping campaign. As you can see here, it is, maximize your it is used to maximize your conversion value by automating targeting across Google Search Network, Display, YouTube, and Gmail. Essentially what that means is Google is going to use their quote unquote algorithm to show people your ads on YouTube shopping ads, Gmail, um, wherever they kind of see is gonna be the best placement for the best bid and get you the highest conversion value for your dollar which um, just reading out loud sounds awesome, right? But there are cons to um, this kind of setting. And then uh, opposed to the standard shopping campaign, which is the campaign that uh, was out before the smart shopping campaign, essentially here you pick your product, your bidding strategy, your budget and targeting, and you can show your ads on the Google search network. So that is kind of what we're gonna be talking about today is when you're setting up your first Google shopping campaign, which one of these bubbles do you want to check and kind of continue on in this journey? So we're gonna go over here to this handy little slides that I've made, uh, which lays out the pros and cons of a smart shopping campaign versus a standard shopping campaign. Uh, I'm going to go through these slides really quickly just to give you an idea, uh, uh, basically give you a snapshot of this. And then I'm actually going to jump back into the account and show you the, the actual differences so you can see the settings for yourself. And then as I mentioned, we'll wrap it up just with my quick recommendations on the two. So as you can see here for a smart shopping campaign, some of the pros are it is very easy to set up. If you're looking for something that you can essentially set up and kind of um, uh, build it as fast as possible, you just wanna get your ads up as soon as possible, then this is going to be the option for you because Google automates everything. You don't have to go and set up your bidding, your um, your placements, things like that. The next is it is a, the future of Google ads. Google is, as you talk to people at Google or Google reps, they, uh, they are, Google is pushing for smart shopping campaigns. They have a lot of trust in their algorithm to get the best value for people's businesses. And so as a result, any new feature, features that Google pushes out, it's going to come to smart shopping first or maybe not even come to, uh, and, and maybe not even go to standard shopping at all. Um, so if you want to kind of have a future proof campaign, then uh, smart shopping is going to be your bet. The third, um, Pro, I put this as like a pro slash con, is it automatically sets placements across all channels. So this includes YouTube, Display, Gmail, and your Google Shopping ads, of course. Now this is a pro because um, it tests all these different things and Google kind of says, okay, people are converting a lot on YouTube for your business, so they're gonna show more of those ads on YouTube, or maybe they're converting more on Gmail, which uh, very rarely happens, but uh, we're gonna show more ads there. So it's automating this flow and trying to figure out what works best for your business. Now going to the cons kind of along the same lines of this, this um, these placements, is there's no data insights, which means you can't really see which placements are bringing in the conversion. So say that you are getting a ton of sales on YouTube, 
uh, the, the, the platform, the smart shopping campaigns don't really give you an easy way to see that. Actually, they don't give you a way at all to see that YouTube is working well for your business or you're getting more sales from the actual Google shopping um, ads or whatever it may be. And along that same vein is you don't have control on the search terms that people are, uh, or that, you're, that you're, your ads are showing up for. So, and a search term of course is when somebody actually goes in and I typed in men's boots here, that's a search term. Those are your keywords. And what that means is that Google could be theoretically showing um, your ads to things that you maybe don't want to show up for and you have no idea what those are. Now, in my experience, Google is pretty good at showing things that are quote unquote relevant, but something that definitely is a con not having that the opportunity to optimize for those search terms. And you can't add negative keywords right here, which is a big con um, inside of there to say, hey, I don't want to show up for this specific type of boot or whatever it may be. And the last thing that is a big con uh, for a lot of people in a reason why often that I uh, suggest people run a standard campaign is that having a smart shopping campaign requires you to typically have historical data. What this means is that typically you want to have uh, at least purchase data inside of your account before you start running a smart shopping campaign. The reason for that is because um, the algorithm is only as good as the data that you give it. If you if you are have a brand new account that has had zero sales and you're telling the algorithm to go and find you people that are likely to buy, it has nothing to go off of, nothing to optimize towards. So the more conversions you have inside of your account, the better a smart shopping campaign is is going to perform and give you the conversion value that you need. So keep that in mind. That's a big, big um, uh, uh, con. I don't recommend anybody run a Google Ads account without having conversion tracking set up, but especially don't run a smart shopping campaign if you don't have conversion value set up and at least 30 days of purchase data inside of there as well. Now moving on to the standard shopping campaigns, the pros and cons of the standard shopping campaigns. Standard, comp st standard shopping campaigns is you have more data. You can see search terms. You can add negative keywords. You can see when people are searching for this type of boot versus a blue boot or whatever it may be. Um, another another positive of the standard shopping campaigns is you do have more bidding strategy options, including manual cost per click bidding options. So if you are a business owner that is really concerned about that average cost per click or really want to just pay the least amount uh, possible, then this is going to be the option for you. Um, also, you can have better uh, optimization on your device and location bid adjustments, which means say that there is a state um, that you wanted to bid 50% less as opposed to maybe it has a lower conversion value and you say, okay, I want to bid less there. You could go through and, and add a negative bid adjustment. Same on device. You could say, I don't want to show up on mobile or I do only want to show up on desktop, essentially whatever it may be. You can't do that with a smart shopping campaign. The Google algorithm decides that for you essentially. Um, based on the signals that it has. So with this, you have more flexibility to say, I want to show up on mobile or I want to show up on tablet or I don't want to show up on those devices. Um, another pro is you don't need previous data to get started essentially. With manual um, CPC, you can go through and actually just start bidding based on what you know about your customers and it's not necessarily using as much of that algorithm to inform where your ads are showing. So if you are a brand new account, this is probably going to be the best place to start your Google Ads journey. Now some of the cons is this is going to take longer to set up and it's gonna require more hands-on management. When you're setting up a standard shopping campaign, you are going through and adding a lot more settings, building out the campaigns a lot more, that it just takes a lot, it takes more time. And even more, there is hands-on management and weekly things that you need to do to make sure that the campaign is running correctly. Um, if you're running a manual bidding strategy, you're gonna have to go through and adjust your bids, make sure that you're in a correct spot. You're gonna wanna go through and check the search, re search term reports to make sure that you're showing up for the right keywords. And so if you're, if you're a business owner or somebody that just wants more of a hands-off approach, the standard shopping campaign isn't gonna be great for you because it needs TLC, right? It needs somebody to go in there and actually um, make adjustments and be looking at the data in real time to make it reach its full potential. And another one of the cons is that you might miss out on smart shopping features. Smart shopping is the kind of the future of Google. So everything that's new that's coming out is coming to smart shopping campaigns. And so as a result, you may miss out on some of those um, quote unquote fancy features that, that uh, Google rolls out. Now that we got the high level overview out of the way, I do wanna jump into the weeds a little bit and show you kind of examples of what I mean between these two. Um, so we're going to exit out of this settings that we have and we're gonna actually come to this campaign. Inside of this campaign, I actually have both smart 
and um, uh, standard shopping campaigns running. So I want to show you the difference in some of the settings on what you can and can't see with a smart and a smart shopping campaign and a standard shopping campaign. So first, we're gonna come to a smart shopping campaign. You're just gonna have to trust me that this is a smart one because oh, it says right there, smart shopping campaign. Everything's blurred out here, obviously, but um, first thing that you're gonna notice when you're in a smart shopping campaign is we're going to come here to the, uh, we wanna come here to the settings. And we're going to first look at the bidding strategy. So you notice here, inside of this bidding strategy, I only have one, it's maximized conversion value. That's the only thing that I can click inside of here. I can adjust my target ROAS, which is awesome, but not a lot of options for my bidding strategy because Google is optimizing for those signals. If we come down here to locations and we look at the locations that we're currently bidding on, if I wanted to do a bid adjustment, which means I want to bid, you know, maybe say 20% more here in California, or in uh, sorry, California because I have a higher conversion rate, you see 2.9. If I go here and I try and hit save, it's gonna give me an error. Say this operation is not allowed given the current context, which means that it's currently a smart shopping campaign and the algorithm has complete control over these kind of bid adjustments and I can't do that. If I come here to the device, it will show me the same thing where, okay, I want to um, only show on, uh, it doesn't, if we wanna do a bid adjustment, see, as you can see here, it doesn't give me, uh, give me the option to allow bid adjustments because of the smart shopping campaign. And finally, if we come over here to the actual ad groups and we look inside of here and we say, okay, we want to see, um, I, I, have already, I already have it pulled up, but if we come here to networks and search partners, you'll notice that it doesn't break it out by YouTube or display or Gmail or whatever, it just says cross network. So we can't see the data to see where the actual conversions are coming from. All I can see here is I had 76 from a cross network um, campaign. And finally, one of the big ones you'll notice inside of this smart shopping campaign, there are no options inside of here for um, keywords or search terms. There's just nothing that I can do to edit my keywords or see which search terms I'm currently showing up for. We, uh, as opposed to a standard shopping campaign, which we're now go over to over here, you'll notice that it has this drop down for keywords where you can see your negative keywords, you can see your search terms, and you can see all that different data. You notice that my segments are broken down. You can see that I have Google search and search partners showing up so I can see where the placements are actually being shown for Google ads. If I come down here to my locations and uh, look at the locations, as you can see, I have active bid adjustments running for the certain states and campaigns inside of here. You can go through and, and adjust those and say, okay, maybe I wanted to change this to you know 11% or whatever. I'm not going to for this right now because uh, I don't wanna mess that, that part up. And then if we come over here to device categories. As you can see, I have active bid adjustments for tablets and mobile phones uh, for this because we noticed that mo uh, computers convert better. So we want to pay 50% less on mobile phones uh, inside of the platform. So as you see, I have just a lot more control on things that I can do inside of a standard shopping campaign uh, as opposed to a normal or as opposed to a smart shopping campaign. Oh, and I almost forgot, if we come in here to the settings, you'll notice that when we go to the actual um, bidding strategy and we look inside of here, as you can see, if we change our bidding strategy, we have a lot more options. We can do target ROAS, maximize click, manual CPC, enhanced for conversions or conversion value. So you just have a little bit more flexibility in the bidding strategy that you're gonna be using with a standard shopping campaign. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the differences and now onto the big question that most of you are wondering is which one is simply best for me? So to put it simply is uh, you're gonna wanna go with a smart shopping campaign if you want more of a hands-off and quick approach and setup and you don't have time to manage your account day to day or week to week or whatever it may be, you also want to make sure that you're if you're running a smart shank, smart shopping campaign, you have historical data inside of the account where the al algorithm is informed on the data points of your customers and as a result can get the best um, best conversion value for you. Also, another reason why you want might want to run smart shopping campaigns is if you have lots of products. If you have a lot of products, it can be very hard and time consuming to go through and optimize the bids for each one of those or the placements or whatever it may be. So if you have a large product, a lot of products inside of your store, then a smart shopping campaign is going to be the best for you. And to put it, and to be very clear, most of the time I run smart shopping campaigns for uh, if there is conversion value data, historical conversion value data, smart shopping campaigns um, almost always wins um, in, in the battle of return on ad spend. So that is what I recommend for a smart shopping campaign. Now, when to use a standard shopping campaign, because I still use standard shopping campaigns a lot, is when you want more data for the account. Maybe it's a, a newer one, a newer uh, account and you're wanting to get uh, data to inform other channels on messaging that's working or products that are selling or channels that are really working, that may be a, bit, a good 
good option for you. Two is you have the time to manage the account or, or you have the money to pay somebody to manage that account because a standard shopping campaign is definitely not something you want to just set up and uh, essentially forget about um, inside of there. And the third is that you have a new account with no conversion data. And honestly, this is probably the, the number one reason why I set up standard shopping campaigns is it's a brand new account that doesn't have conversion data and we need to get it to a point where there's conversion data firing in there. Typically, I like to see at least a, a conversion a day for the past 30 days, and then once it gets to that point, then I will con uh, I'll pause that standard shopping campaign and convert it in, and create a new smart shopping campaign and kind of make that transition into the account. So um, I would say the the best performing campaigns that I manage, it's going to be a smart shopping campaign once it's gotten to that quote unquote prime spot. So um, doesn't mean they're, that standard shopping campaigns are bad or, or any means or either one of these is they're both good for depending on the situation that you are in. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Hopefully that gives you a better idea when you're setting up your first smart shopping campaign or standard shopping campaign, how to uh, make that decision. If you're wondering on how to get um, uh, involved in Google shopping ads just from the beginning, I do have a full tutorial that walks you through beginning to end how to get up your Google Merchant Center and uh, the whole nine yards essentially all teed up. If you're looking for optimizations for your Google Shopping ads, you'll want to check out uh, these videos as well. Uh, down below, I have a resource for you know five tips to optimize your Google Shopping ads. And that is everything that I have for you today. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.